lane, and that gives so much room to Dudu to just kind of free farm, have a fun time, as long as he dodges some kind of early gank from blank, uh, he should be totally fine, so... Yeah, these these this, this compositions coming into this one. I feel like if we kind of sail into level six and hum a life are clean, I would favor them. But I don't know. Ducal's on a roll right now. Maybe he can pull something crazy off alongside Hybrid in the later stages of the game with Oriana Samir. And we've seen the Oriana matchup be very friendly to the Oriana as well uh, into the Twisted Fate. So Chovy definitely a different beast. Um, but we saw the stats for Showmaker's Twisted Fate. His twist of fate is fantastic as well. So Chovy really gonna have to step it up here and against a more formidable opponent as well. But I, I agree with you, Valdez. I think that the uh the Hama Life composition is put together really beautifully. The double global in the Shen and the Twisted Fate being able to join in on any skirmish. One of this just fine. New Cal though in a bit of trouble. Yep, Arthur's gonna come in. It should be able to get the pushback does so actually holds onto that CC very nicely as the shockwave used as a bit of a helmet there for you, Cal. And you know what you do? When you wear a helmet, you keep yourself safe. And that's exactly Whoa. what he does is uh, on the top side of the map, Doran's showing us that this is absolutely a winning matchup for Nah. However, not able to actually win his destiny down towards the river. The action never stops and first blood goes over to death. Oh. Yep. Yukal finally with a CS advantage. As uh, Trovi, I think, is a little bit upset about that as he throws down the gold card. Will pick up Yukal here as there is the Onslaught of Shadows, but Blank is going to be here immediately. Another Shockwave is decent and the Bouncy House is there. But Arthur just soaks all the damage and Yukal is going to fall for the second kill for Harm Life. Blank doing a little bit of that here with the Talia, showing off what she has in her kit as well. Yep, it is semi-global coming through from the jungle. And uh, I don't know whether it's going to be enough to answer things like this. As uh, there's the Stand United that comes down. This is the set play that Hanwha have access to. A taunt is going to land and a very comfortable kill onto Blank. Immediate punishment there. Yes, and I let him take some priority as here we go. Oh, wow. Actually catches him out of the shuriken backflip as Dudu trying to ult here. Not going to be able to keep himself alive, though, as Doran has the right click. I so love the way they, they set this up. KT are like, okay, they're probably going to get aggressive in here. We know what their composition does. And they, they do it. They kind of bite the bait. It turns into a three on three. Vista immediately realizes, oh, oh crap, I got to get out of here. Nice wall to funnel everybody in. And then the follow-up engage here from Zeus is just beautiful. Flash combo from the Alistair and, of course, the perfect seismic shove follow-up from the Talia. Yukal putting his ball a little bit short there to get the kill off of Chovy. Also misses Vista, but they get a lot of value here anyway. They get the flash They shouldn't well. be using this composition uh, to go for, you know, even 4v4s. They should be trying to catch people out of position, kind of like this. As Yukal, he is completely caught out. Shockwave is going to get rid of the horse, though, just before he goes down, as in goes Vista. Dudu's there as well. The double ninjas doing some work here on the back line as Blank going to be in trouble. Vista actually gets that last auto attack as now Dudu, I believe, just tagged Hybrid, but he's going to dash his way out, and Dudu is taken care <laughs> of. Big Nar into the wall also, and that could be another one for the Samira. No, she's going to go down first, but not before that auto does come out, and a triple kill for Hybrid. This is well, Cloud is definitely the most in terms of just straight up drakes, which means that there should have been the most amount of Cloud souls. Does it have soul? Okay, we're going to have to hold that off. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have a bit of an engagement here as Chovy is going to clean up. It is a really decent shockwave, and there's a pulverize that you could uh, certainly put in your resume. But using their comp correctly is uh, Doran going to... Just try and cast a curse the heck out of me right now as he does land the boulder. Dudu does have the second portion of the ultimate here and he's going to use it and gets the damage as well, but not going to be able to get back into this fight as Arthur turns up. See whether he can canter through and get some work done as Deft has the curtain call available. There's the onslaught of shadows. As stun does come through from Deft as the Akali's taken down and maybe Deft can help this one out, but it's a teleport in from Yukal. Try to fight over a mountain soul or anything like that. So they've got to be feeling pretty good about that. We have the Destiny Gate coming in here. Yeah, there's actually going to be Zeus that they focus on. He has Unbreakable Will, but hasn't actually needed to use it yet as Yukal on the backside of this one gets collapsed on by Chovy and Dudu, but makes it to the rest of his team and there's the weaver's wall that means that Chovy <laughs> has to walk behind um, an inner turret and actually is going to flash as well nimbus cloak helps him create kt little... should be able to transition into this cloud drake very comfortably unless doran is very keen on locking down death there's uh the crunch and uh the flash ulti is going to be real good death nowhere that he can go here no flash available 
And the Jin eventually does fall. I think the comms there were, okay, death no flash, death no flash. All of how my life just left him. It was kind of the huge chase from KT jungle to enemy jungle. We got another fight here. Yep, Exhaust actually going down onto you, Cal. He'll be taken as Vista comes through with a standard on it. No, oh my goodness. And the rotation does come through from KT is now Dudu trying to fight this one out once again. And the teleport's going to come in. He's committing to this one also. See whether he can actually get this one done as Chovy comes down, and that is going to be the kill locked up. Flank getting pretty low. He's got to be careful about some of this poke, but they're still going to commit to this Baron. Yeah, exactly. It is still a 4v4 if Hanwha can actually make their way over as Dudu towards the top side, but they're not going to be able to secure this Baron. No smite, no chance. Uh, here in this match as we've got another destiny that comes through from Chovy and he thinks that he's found Doran over the wall he goes as Dudu trying to catch up there's the ulti in we've got the stand united as well the rest of KT trying to get over but Doran is definitely dead they were able to kill him just in time and then back away and to save it here for Hanwha as we've got the second Cloud Drake being taken for the 54th here for 2010 it's Sorry, 2021. As Doran's once again going to try and escape from this one. Dudu underneath this turret, though, as he sure can backflips to try and create some space. But there's a two-man shockwave as Yukal's just wearing it. Arthur underneath the turret, but isn't going to fall just yet. We'll see whether Dudu can keep himself alive. But no, the dissonance is going to keep it. Now Zeus trying to chase after Chovy. Unbreakable wills there. It took a long time for that Akali to die. But it looks like the rest of Hanwa are going to be able to make their way out. Arthur just cantering his way forward and now Vista has joined the rest of his team. Deft, he's in the bottom lane. He just, he wants nothing to do with this tomfoolery. As uh, Chovy is going to find the gold card, but uh, that's just a trade. Jungler for jungler as Chovy's like, all right, I'll just chill for a sec before I kill you. Wait, on the trigger finger as uh, there's a destiny. Teleports coming in as, oh, you tell. At this point in time, needs to light someone in fi on fire for that one, but destiny's going to be good enough here as he does. Find Yukal in the back line. There's the curtains that have been called as Chovy baits out the shockwave beautifully, and Yukal's gonna pay the price. Zeus now extraordinarily low as the blast cone gets rid of Dudu, but that's not the whole problem. Three man taunt from Vista as well as Zeus finally goes down. The Samira still does damage, and now Death caught between a rock and a hard place. He's gonna be going down here. As Arthur at half health, he's gonna back away. It's a two for two in the end. So you immediately say, let's dive on a new cow. They go very deep once again to try to pick off new cow. They do a nice job of it. But then they, you know, they extend the fight to such a state where hybrid can pick off multiple kills. Doran, oh no. Not here. Maybe he's just trying to buy space. Maybe this is all a bait, as there's the gold card. And this Baron, they're still on it. Teleport coming through from KT. They're trying to get everyone in here as now Dudu over the wall, but looks like Hanwan not gonna actually be able to stop this whatsoever. They get the ward in way too late as now Chovy's even caught out of position. Nice, gonna get the Baron and the inhibitor and look to push to end. Yeah, they're actually looking for Nexus turrets right now. Hybrid's so scary. Doran now getting into that front line as in goes Vista. But the rest of his team isn't there. Dudu dives on forward. That's a shockwave that's avoided by so many of these stopwatches and Zonyas. But now the Samira's popping off. A triple kill already as Death in the fountain just waiting for Chovy, who's going to come out of that gray screen into an end screen as KT. I thought it was going to be difficult this game, but they played it so beautifully. And they will be able to pick he up. He did do a lot of damage down. also. Um, I think, you know, Doran, based purely statistically, definitely looking pretty good here this game. That's uh, that's more than 30% um, of his team's damage. And that's not super easy when you've got Samira and the Ariana there as well. I felt like Yukal also had a great game, was really able to utilize his shockwaves in pivotal situations. Um, even though it didn't necessarily always work out. So shout out to Yukal. Uh, has that build under his belt? Yeah, I don't know, but we just haven't really seen those dark ne technologies make their way onto the LCK Rift just yet. Yeah, we've seen the Moonstone, but not the Moon Staff combo. Um, but, you know, I do agree with you. I think this would be a nice game to go ahead and go for it. So we'll see if Arthur has been paying attention to Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. LS's new meta that's coming in. But, yeah, I, I really like that Gangplank last pick. You do have to have confidence to try to play it into Renekton Lilia. And I think Doran, after his first game, 
should be feeling pretty confident. Uh, UCAL gets the Oriana once again. They have some really fantastic late game scaling on the side of KP. We'll see how it works out. Exactly right. Let's hop onto the rift for game number two. Let's see whether we can get three games out of this series. It's been fun so far, and I think we deserve more. Oh, no, maybe? No, no he's no. got six. No, 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 he didn't. He didn't miss any. That was oh, fine. Oh, passive goes down. I think he might just die. Uh, he's waiting for Q. He's waiting for Q. Not going to have it. Light, but, uh, these are very young players uh, on this side. Is uh, He might have just been like thinking that his Q was about to come back up again, and then he'd be able to turn the trade around. But this is... I mean... So he missed the, the level 2 spike. I think he thought he was going to kill the minion. It just looked like double scuttle went the way of heart. So a nice little win there as an engage here. Yeah, Vista getting in there with the flash. His hybrid down extremely low. The ignite's ticking, but it's not going to be enough. Bowling ball actually straight into the wall. Is, oh, the Void Seeker. Hanging out in this brush is after stealing away his Gromp. Vista getting into position as Void Seeker is going to be able to find Zeus. Death getting in from behind the turret is... Yep, Zeus not going to survive this one. Cannon Barrage comes in, but unfortunately they can't follow up with that one. And maybe... That's really hard. Um, you know, we saw Chovy do an excellent job in the last game. Death going in here. Whoa, Killer Instinct comes down. Oh, slight miscalculation as they trade flashes. Death takes all of his damage only from the turret. Lane but, uh, plays with that all right. Well, he is making a lane play right now. Let's see whether it's going to work, as Vist is going to get hooked back. There's the Ragnarok immediately. The Gragas is just going to explode. As there's the Lilting Lullaby. It does a fair bit of work, as now Death may be out of position. Yeah, you do have to respect Hybrid right now with the weapons that he has, especially in close range, as in goes Yukal. Gets the Shockwave, and Arthur is just dead. Really good capitalization here, and collapse from KT. From the side of Hamalife and KT are able to take the advantage. Oh, chicken's being eaten here by Chovy, who culls them just to make sure that they're not going to be there. And uh, Yukal doesn't have Shockwave, but he's still going to flash on forward. Chovy going to be taken down, and that's an overstep. A little bit of aggressive positioning, and Arthur's going to pay the price as well. Yeah, head by about 10 CS over Chovy after that unfortunate death. Is now Chovy going for this one. Shockwave comes in, and there's the cannon barrage as well. The culling down on top of Yukal, but now positional advantage for KT. As Chovy is just taken, oh. <laughs> just ran out of Ergs, I think. As Arthur, yeah, all he can do is really spin around. As Deft is going to punish you, Cal. His former teammate, Lilting Lullaby, going to come through. That's a sleepy Olaf who has to watch out and eat. And watch out he must, as he's going to be taken down. A triple kill for Deft, who's looking to try and put this one on his back, much like Chovy did. And let's see, okay. Vista is... <laughs> that's uh, it's definitely behind enemy lines. He's thrown out some barrels, but that's only going to put Yukal closer in position. Another hook is going to be set up, and now Morgan, he's also in trouble. We've got kills going everywhere on the Rift, and the Gangplank and Olaf combo definitely going to be very happy taking down that crocodile. Down, I guess he was just saying, eh, let's just go back and get a good back here. Don't blame it too much. Doran actually getting the the proc on the turret, which means that Doran or Morgan rather did not see any more. So kind of get faded into this fight by Doran going camp. A nice play set up there from Doran. And Blank has just been all over the map. Not being carrying so far in 2021. But now he is, as uh, Shockwave not going to be avoided, as now Vista's going to turn up. Great stopwatch there from Yukal is going to keep him safe for a little while, as Death is looking to try and get out of there. But now Morgan, he's in the meat grinder. They're going to first try and get to this Gragas' hybrid. With his Severum, doing a fair bit of work, but Death is still able to limp away. As in goes Chovy, picks up the kill onto the Aphelios. He is going to fall afterwards, so it looked cool, but didn't necessarily net them anything. Has been instilled as KT in perfect position to collapse onto this uh, Infernal Drake as Morgan. He's going to get hooked, and this is going to be a dead crocodile. Dominus trying to get the work done. Core Drinker also working out. It's a one-man shockwave, but it is going to get the man that it wanted. Is now Death trying to get whatever kills he can. The DPS combo is actually really powerful here as Chovy dashing back in once again. And Harmwell Life looks to have control here of this area, but it is still... Four versus five. The health bars are lower on KT side as the barrel is going to get Zonyed once again. Yukal just playing really, really well as the Void Seeker, the bowling ball, not actually going to find any joy. Moonlight Vigil comes down. It's going to be Drake secured by Han Malive. Still, KT looking to try and just disengage. Hybrid still hasn't been back yet as well, so it actually looks comical, the difference in items between these uh, these two bot laners. 
Pirate's going to have to go back soon because if they ever want to fight, yeah, he has to go back now and get that reset, make sure he spends whatever gold he has. Is, uh, it's going to get cancelled as uh, that's not the time to have a sleep there for Zeus as finally the Caster Curse kicks in. It's going to look pretty, and some of these scene fights as the game comes along could also be the same. Oh no, Yukal has to flash the watch out, Eepers. Vista almost saves Yukal's life, who does go into his Zonyas, but Death will be able to pick up that kill, supercharges to try and get out, but he's melee range with an Olaf. <laughs> now Doran's looking to try and get in here. Is he tanky enough to soak the damage from Deft? I think he might be, as Deft has to run away now, and Arthur is going to be the first one to fall. Chovy turns up, Morgan's here. But it's not looking like they're able to take the fight as Chobi throws out the culling just to soften them ever more. The turret is still going to be there. So just a one for one in the end. Because there are some big item spikes that just came in to KT. Morgan's positioning here on the right. They've got to be careful about this. You see Yukal looking at yep. the vision and he does spot him. Really good setup so far as Death spotted on that ward. As you can see, he's trying to clear it out as best he can as it is going to be secured by KT Rollster. Shockwave just onto Vista as Yukal looks to try and take him down. Stopwatch employed as Yukal had a lantern there, so he was completely safe to try and fish. Right. Chovy trying to cull, but only culls the air for the moment. But now the collapse comes in. Vista, he may look tubby, but he gets around the rift as Barrel comes down. Blank thrown into the team. Gordrinker gets a lot of value right there, but he's still going to go down. Chovy grabs that kill for himself, and now Han will live. Looks like it. Hybrid, unfortunately, running through what he thought was his jungle, gets caught out. This is what leads to that. Doran not able to link up those barrels. Oh, no, that's a big shame, actually. Now Vista off to the side, not sure what he's doing there as Morgan trying to collapse onto Zeus. In goes Death, now looking to take down Yukal, flashes the orb. Yukal goes into his Zonyas, but I have a feeling he's still going to be oh, dead. Oh, Yukal! The shockwave, beautiful <laughs> work from Yukal before entering the death chamber. He deserves that rest though, I tell you what, as that is going to deny the Baron and keep KT in this one. Yeah, so he's like, well, he can't go in, and now the Baron has started again. Oh, this is not the party that they were looking for, though. They're all standing behind the Baron, taking so much damage. Morgan going to get in here. Zeus late to this party also, as now the Crocodile is going to start this one off. That was not the Baron you wanted to go for, gentlemen, as now Harm Alive. They're looking to try and secure it. It will be taken by Lilia as Yukal now looking for that dream shockwave opportunity. As Morgan, he might just give himself up here, but no, Slice Dice gets himself to safety as Vista lying in wait. There's the Body Slam Flash and gets Zeus right into position. And Death wants to fight this one out too. He's not afraid of that particular shockwave. And then they decide to take a Baron that they're not allowed to take. Death is also just going to kill Hybrid as we go back to live as Zeus is also dead. There's too many 80 carries. Can't keep track of them all. Can KT is now Doran finds himself in a brush. There's a big angry crocodile, but I think the pirate might be winning this one as Barrel comes down as well. Morgan very, very slow. Both of them gonna proc some uh, sterics. And uh, yeah, it's just gonna be blank tidying this one up. In the meantime, there's an inhibitor falling down as uh, Morgan actually staying alive for a really long time. Oh. The slice comes in, <laughs> avoids the undertow. Oh. Blank, oh my God, he gets his Q back as well. I think Morgan's still gonna die. But he, no, he's not. He keeps roaming into the jungle. I wanna see how this actually happens. He tries to move in and oh, essentially fine. just gets burst down and Def says, yeah, well, I'm Kaisa, so. You're not getting away from this one. I mean, Zeus almost saved him there. Uh, fortunately for Deft, he had Gale Force, so he could get out of the way of the hook. But... They're going to take down the second inhibitor. And again, just people getting clawed out in the side lanes alone. Here's another engage. Yeah, in goes Morgan, but the hook is going to land very comfortably there by Zeus. Barrel comes through, but Zeus does have a stopwatch that he prepared earlier. But now, he wished he sort of had it back again. It's now Deft. Tidying up the fight. That's the triple kill. That's going to be the end of the game. We're going to game three between Hanwha Life and KT. Yep, that's going to do it. At the triple end. the damage of your opposition is a way to do it. Hybrid did less damage than Vista that game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Hybrid did absolutely nothing. He was just from minute zero to minute 34. He was basically always suppressed. He never really did any damage in any team. Like, if you're looking down the barrel of that and solo queue, you're just like, oh, man. <laughs> this is yeah. not going to be fun. Uh, I'm going to get engaged upon quite a lot. And I think that Samira needs to be protected here a little bit. No, I agree. 
but definitely a very exciting uh, composition on both sides, to be perfectly honest. I really like how Chovy plays his Twisted Fate. We'll see whether he can pop off like he did in game number one. And now, with Deft back on the Kaiser once again, after his hard carry performance, I haven't seen, like, someone really pick up a game and hammer it home, much like Deft did in game number two, in a long time. You know, like, he literally, like, it was... The haunches were in his hands, and he pushed them over the line every single second. So, if he gets a lead like that again, we'll see whether Deft can be alongside Chovy this time in the two champions that they've been able to really have great performances on so far in this series. But then you've got Yukal's Yone. You've got Hybrid back on the Samira again. And Doran on his heroic Nah. Like, this is huge. This is exactly what, it, what we wanted Game 3 to look like. And here we are under the rift for Game number 3. Well, Zeus should be able to spot them if they're going to move on in here. And he does. But the red buff has just spawned. And it looks like we are just going to be able to get in here and try and steal this one away. Some Biffo being played around the popcorn chickens as that's a big taunt to come through. The flash pulverize isn't that good, actually, as Arthur gets so much of his health back. Oh my god. First kill does go over to Harm Life, but this is a bloodbath. This hybrid, oh, tries to chase after Vista, but it'll be taken down by Deft. We Morgan's still Dorn falling behind, but I think it's uh, it's feeling a bit better than last game. Dorn's about to hit Meganar. And I think Arthur might just wait for it. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Oh, no. The wallop actually not going to connect here as he gets pulled back. Arthur now trying to chase down as he's spinning like a helicopter. The flash not available, of course, because Arthur's Hecarim. And that's going to keep him alive. As you can see, Chovy was trying to get down there. And now Yukal's found him. Red card. Not exactly what Chovy wanted. Get back into the top lane and try and kill the Nar again, I think is the saying. Um, but... He's not going to be able to. Uh. Oh, dear. Warren may have signed his own death warrant. Crunch comes through. Shelly gets a little bit angry as Destiny has been popped. Yukal getting into position. There's the gold card as in goes Arthur, and he's going to be able to secure that one as Yukal had to go back to that unbound soul. You know, the other one's just under the cold dash. As uh, in goes Arthur, looking to try and fight Yukal as our uh, heroic engines will come down. Yukal has to flash there as the taunt comes in. Thankfully, he's charged up that Q enough and he's still going to be taken down. Doran, no way that he can help out. Could have a pretty fiery series, or rather game here. Once again, it's already been a fiery series between these two teams. Yep, might be continuing right now as this fight for the red buff seems to be the real excitement. Red buff more important than uh, Cloud Drake, apparently. As there's a great double knockoff to start things off from Zeus as the triple sleep will be coming down. Oh, the Onslaught of Shadows to avoid it, but Yukal diving on in, immediately gets out. He's like, nope, this is not what I wanted, as that Justice Punch also might have been a little bit dicey, as Death throws down the Q once again. Gold card connecting, but Hybrid has that cleanse. Back available as Death wants to be able to grab the kill. Heroic Entrance denies any follow-up, as Deft is at the bottom side. He teleported in there, as Morgan dying to Doran once again by the looks as he's looking to try and get back underneath this turret. The hyperproc comes in. Morgan, yep, the last auto is going to do it, and that's another solo kill going Same over. thing we've seen over the other kill on the back of that. So props to death, getting the extra value at the end. And and Morgan just runs into this. I he's like, yes, please, let's fight. Teleport. Oh, it's such a shame. Wanted to uh, make sure that uh, Doran couldn't join that fight, and unfortunately had his life sacrificed for it. So I guess you could call it a one-for-one one in the end. Um, he's still having a pretty great time here in this lane, but it's all about the mid and bot lane here for Hanwha Life as in goes Hybrid, looking for Deft once again, but the troops are in as the Destiny comes down as well. Deft avoids the bowling ball as Hybrid, oh my god, just popped! Vista's able to grab the kill, not entirely sure how. And not able to shell out nearly as much damage, so... A little bit unfortunate there for Hybrid. There has been a little bit of a, a gap there between the 280 carries in the last couple of games. Ah, uh, Def may be in a bit of trouble here. And by may, I mean definitely is in a bit of trouble as Doran's trying to get out, has to flash, but is still going to survive. And yeah. Extends the amount of harass he is doing. Here we go again. Should we be looking to join? Yep, Destiny going to come in. We're going to see whether this is going to work out better this time. Bladewell now on cooldown for Hybrid. He's not able to get into this fight as Bonnie goes golden just to watch his death. Arthur will secure. <laughs> oh boy, here we go again. Yeah, in live, we are going to have the Drake secured by a Twisted Fate. Of course. Oh, that's good. Chovy now with a gold card. He's going to be able to plant that one onto Zeus. 
Wild cards avoided pretty expertly here by these guys as Yukal looking for Morgan. Unbound Soul is there. Oh my god, he might just die as the card was in the air and Chovy grabs the kill. Unfortunately, they then go for the fight afterwards, but it feels like it's already been lost as Doran trying to run out of this one. Nas absolutely nothing outside of a crocodile who doesn't care. Generally not uh, advisable. Chubby? Yeah, Chovy's kind of all by himself. Let's see if KT actually commit to, to fighting here. Looks like they want to. Yep, Yukal moving pretty quickly, but Hamalife are just going to immediately oh. turn away. Great ultimate out from Yukal as he picks up the kill onto the jungler. Now Hamalife find themselves with a man down in a four versus five situation, no jungle hanging around a Baron pit. Uh, huge amounts of damage, hybrid, uh-oh. Oh dear, Morgan, he's pretty angry and in goes death. Yeah, if it was just the crocodile, maybe it would have been okay, but no, Samira, you ain't gonna save yourself from that one. He had a good game one, but unfortunately, as I talk about it, he's gonna get wiped out by almost just death by himself. Inside of Humble Life, they'll look at the Baron once again. Yeah, well, Death's gonna try and turn this on Doran as Morgan just comes out of the brush. Terrifying on this crocodile as Zeus, he's gonna get gold carded and the unbreakable will is going to break. Doran is just so desperate to try to carry this, but here we go, the clamp down. Oh my God, big two-man taunt comes in, gold card is very comfy. And now Death is looking to kill her instinct onto a hybrid once again, trying to whirl his way out. That is not, I, I wouldn't have given that an S to be perfectly honest Sorry. with you. He's all too easy here for Hanwha. The wallet's starting to get very heavy as we've got a fight breaking out. Chovy doesn't have Destiny available because we're just playing some Biffo. It's currently a three versus four and Arthur's still going to engage. Ulti comes out, Death pre-hitting on the backside as Zeus is just going to get killer instincted. Oh my god, the value out from this heroic entrance. But the Nar is massive into the wall, but unfortunately they're just too far behind. Poor Doran, man, he's trying so hard. As now Han will I find themselves behind enemy lines. They will take down the inhibitor though, and they're looking to try and transition this into a win. Sub 30 minutes in game number three. The flash over the bowling ball is beautiful there by Chovy. As the Void Seeker comes out, Vista, he's pretty low. Doesn't really want to take a fountain laser. Is Death looking to try and kill him uh, on the fountain there, and Vista <laughs> is going to just, uh, yeah, kill himself on the fountain a little bit before this one goes down. Sigh yeah. of relief. Uh, you saw out of Death, who's like, oh, okay, thank goodness. All right. Not a super energetic finish. No. For Hama Life, but yeah, as you mentioned, maybe a little bit of relief as huge damage numbers again going here for Deft. Yeah, Deft was massive. This is a sub 30 minute win as well. And we see a lot of Kaisers really start ramping up that damage later. That was not how Deft played this game. He was uh, hyper aggressive the entire way forward. And it started at level one.